Good evening, Tiffin, and welcome to another broadcast of WHEI News Center 10, live at 5. Tonight's program is brought to you by the Department of Communication and Media from inside the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University. News Center 10, live at 5, is your number one campus source for bringing you the latest news around the state, around Tiffin, and around the Berg. Be sure to stay tuned as well tonight for a social spotlight as we check out the Pulse of Berg students and find out what they're thinking about on the hottest topics. Coming up, a Fostoria woman receives a sentencing of life in prison. And also, find out who Heidelberg will be hosting for PALS. We'll also catch up on social media trends. And check out the latest news in Heidelberg sports. Don't touch that remote. WHEI News Center 10, live at 5. We'll be right back. Good evening, Tiffin, and welcome to WHEI News Center 10, live at 5, for Tuesday, September 16th, 2014. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Christine. Let's get to our first story of the night. Did you happen to see Urban Outfitters' latest piece of fashion? Perhaps, maybe you shouldn't. Fashion label Urban Outfitters just advertised a Kent State crew neck with fake holes and blood stains to possibly commemorate the shooting that occurred in 1970. Taken in the complete opposite direction, the feedback on the sweater was far from desirable. Aside from the unpopular social media coverage, Kent State students and alumni viewed the advertisement as disgraceful and inaccurate to the college's true history. The advertisement and feedback have left many thinking, what was Urban Outfitters really trying to accomplish? Franklin County's most wanted man today is Adam Skiba. Skiba, age 29, is accused of aggravated robbery with an incident involving two female victims. Columbus, Ohio's TV10 reported that Skiba is known to be hiding in Resterville and urges anyone who has seen him to contact Franklin County SWAT team. You can reach their authorities at 614-525-7928. On Monday, a Fostoria woman received a, se a life sentencing in prison for setting a house on fire that killed two people and seriously injured a third. On Memorial Day, 32-year-old Shea Weicker started the fire at 614 South Poplar Street, which claimed the lives of 48-year-old Danny Marker Jr. and his roommate, 44-year-old Tara Lynn Vance, while their third roommate, Dana Weatherall, aged 49, survived with severe injuries. Weicker accepted a plea agreement of life with possible parole after 25 years and pleaded guilty to aggravated arson, aggravated murder, and attempted murder, and all first-degree felonies. Herneman Stadium and Fox Den Alumni Center is this year's newest addition to campus. The stadium will allow fans to be able to watch the game from one location and not be spread across the nearby hill. The stadium will not only fo feature new bleachers, but also a state-of-the-art press box, as well as coach's platform. The new stadium has generated much excitement on campus, and sophomore Megan Honaker is particularly excited for the stadium and believes it is a great addition. I really like it. Uh, most of the buildings on campus are an older style with like limestone, so having the new stadium is a really modern, contemporary vibe for campus and the coaches' platform are slated to be done for the next home game on September 27th, with the dedication scheduled for the homecoming game on October 11th. That wraps up our local news segment for the day. But don't go anywhere because we'll have your biggest campus stories on the other side of these short messages. I'm Tori Hasenlaub. And I'm Morgan Brandt. And, and you're, you're watching WHEI-TV10. <laughs> Programming from the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg yeah, University. Yeah. The only comment I have is that if there's a the only comment I have to come for so far is if there's like commas like in the last story, he just wanted to skip. Like no, you have to take breaks. Like I have to. Take. 
Just have him to read it like he... Hello, my name is Cameron Jernigan. I'm the current president of the Culture and Spiritual Club. I would encourage everyone to join Culture and Spiritual Club because it's a learning experience. When you come to Heidelberg for one thing and that's to learn, I feel like it's a great way to get out there to learn about other cultures and bring us all together. Unity is one thing the school preaches and you'll definitely get that. So if any of this has uh, sparked your interest, I encourage you to come out. Our meetings are at 615 on Monday in Campus Center 225. Hi, my name is Ocean Gray, and I just love California raisins. At our house, we eat California raisins on our cereal for breakfast, out of hand for lunch, and as an after-school snack. And good health starts with good nutrition. What better way than with all-natural California raisins? They're fat and cholesterol-free, low in sodium, with no added sugar. Welcome back to News Saturday 10, Live at 5. Let's get started on our Heidelberg Campus News segment. The Lickman Bame Genocide Lecture Series is set to begin tonight and end this Friday, September 19th. The first event in the series is a film screening of Hotel Rwanda starring Don Cheadle. The film tells the story of a hotel manager that housed thousands of refugees during their fight against the militia in Rwanda. Over 800,000 men, women, and children were killed during this genocide, and the movie gives an in-depth look at some of their lives. Heidelberg upperclassman John Sandwich believes that this film is important and will bring awareness to those that haven't yet heard the story. Not a lot of people know about this. Um, a lot of people know about what happened in Nazi Germany with the Holocaust, but um, you know, not a lot of publicity gets talked about in the Rwanda genocide, and it's really sad because millions of people died and uh, we really need to get awareness to this and to bring justice to kind of what happened there. Not a lot of people were convicted that um, put this genocide on that were in charge of um, mass killings of millions of people. And um, I think we just really need to give it more attention and respect that it deserves. The film screening will take place at 7 p.m. tonight in the University Commons. The Patricia Adams Lecture Series, also known as PALS, will highlight the achievements of Jackie McMullen, an ESPN columnist who has been chosen to speak as a guest lecturer for the fall of 2014. The Berg's webpage reports that in August of 2010, Mac Mullen was, Mullins, excuse me, was recognized by the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame for career of excellence in basketball writing and reporting. McMullen is very well known as a contestant on ESPN's around the horn. We recently spoke to Elizabeth Jones, a former PALS attendee, on the growing topic of changing students' registration for the event. For the Patricia Adams lecture series, um, hasn't changed all that much uh, since Heidelberg upgraded to Bergsync. Uh, I believe it asks you for the same information as before. If you're a student, your uh, name, um, home address and phone number, and then it'll ask you uh, what you want to eat for your meal. And then it'll remind you that you have to cancel like a day ahead of time. Otherwise, you'll be charged $30. So other than that, it, I don't think it's changed much. Berg Sink notes that PALS will hold the event on October the 2nd with a formal dinner beginning at 6 p.m. in Cyberlane Gymnasium. So have you ever attended the PALS dinner before? I attended once last year, but I'm not sure which one it was. I think it was the end of the year, Palace. In the spring like, yeah. semester. But it was really good. It was a lot of fun. Spring semester, we had the CEO of Cheryl's Cookies here. Yeah. Is that the one you went to? Yeah. yeah. She had a really good message. And 
I'm sure this next one will be just as great. Yeah, and her cookies were really <laughs> good. <laughs> That's all we have for Berg's Campus News today. We'll get into the latest news and stories from the social media world next. News Center 10, live at 5, we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Kelsey. And I'm Brianna. And you're watching WHEI TV 10. Have fun! Woo! Student programming from the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University. as well as athletes and staff uh, be healthy, whether they're trying to gain muscle, lose weight, or just have more energy for class. Um, everyone has different goals. We offer pre-workout, post-workout, healthy meal replacement smoothies, as well as many snacks and healthy energy drinks for everyone. I like them, they work, uh, taste good. Going to school pregnant, riding the bus, that was hard. You just have all the stares and you have all the questions. When you get pregnant, all the stuff just goes through your mind. Abortion, adoption, keeping him. When you're 15 and pregnant, you can't do it without support. I wanted to give him a better life. I'm Miranda and I chose adoption. A healthy diet and plenty of exercise are keys to success, both on and off the ice. Teaching kids how to eat right will give them the fuel they need to be at their very best. Growing bodies need lots of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, lean protein, and low-fat dairy to be healthy and strong. A registered dietitian can work with your family to help you create nutritious meals you will love. And don't forget to exercise for at least 60 minutes every day. Visit kidseatright.org for more information. Just lying here, don't you see me? Pick me up, pick me up. If I'm lying here, can't you see me? Pick me up, pick me up. Hello, and welcome to our social spotlight segment. Let's check out what's trending today in the world of social media. Jay-Z may have 99 problems, but baby number two is not one. The 99 problems hit maker sparked Beyonce baby talk with a lyric change during a concert in Paris over the weekend. The Carters were performing their On the Run concert when Jay-Z switched up the lyrics and rapped Pregnant with Another One in place of I Replace It with Another One. The couple has not yet commented on the baby rumors. In other social news, why are disability rights groups in Australia demanding an apology from rapper Kanye West? West was caught on camera stopping his performance and demanding a fan in a wheelchair to get on his feet during a misunderstanding in Sydney on Friday. The rights group stated that being called out would be humiliating for anyone and that Kanye should not have patronized his fans. Now, let's take a look at some of the upcoming events happening at Heidelberg this week. To Elizabeth and Christine at the news desk. Thanks Stacy. So I'm really glad that the rumors about Jay-Z and Beyonce weren't true about them splitting up because I think the world would have come to an end like they're, there they're are such a power so, couple. There are so many Beyonce fans out there that if anybody would have started like talking anything negative I, I think the world might have just exploded. Yeah they're a power couple they're both so out there and they're so well known and they stand for so many things mm -hmm. they're really great especially since she just had that VMA's performance that performance a couple weeks ago that was so great and yeah. yeah but enough with Beyonce it's time to throw it over today to take a look at today's top sports stories
Thanks, guys. The Heidelberg volleyball team took on a pair of top 10 opponents at the Wittenberg Fall Classic on Saturday. The first match of the day against number 5 Cal Lutheran saw the Berg unable to get off to a good start and falling in a three set series, while the second match against number 10 Washington was much the same. The first two sets match against Cal Lutheran did not go quite as planned for Heidelberg, as they hung around early and could not keep it up in the end. In the third set, the student princes put up a fight, but still fell by a final score of 26-24. to 24. The second match of the day against Washington, the student princes came out strong, battling in the first set and taking leads of 14-11 and 15-12. Despite these leads, Heidelberg was not able to hold on, dropping that set en route to a three-set defeat. Heidelberg will open OAC play tonight when they host Otterbein for their first home match of the 2014 season. That match is set to begin at 7 p.m. in Cyberland. The Heidelberg women's golf team took the course to their second tournament of the season as they traveled to Ohio Wesleyan for the Fall Invitational. As a team, the student princess finished eighth at the two-day event. Taylor Lewis shot the lowest score on the day for Heidelberg, carding a 96, repeating that performance on day two to finish the tournament tied for 47th place. Kerry Ann Murphy rebounded from a 97 on the first round to take seven strokes off that to shoot a 90 on day two and tied for 40th. Tiffany Bates and Aaron McGinney rounded out the scoring for Heidelberg, finishing with two day totals of 199 and 203, both improving for their score from day one to day two. The student princess will be back in action this weekend for the two day invitational at John Carroll. Well, that's all we have for sports. Let's take it to Christine and Elizabeth back at the news desk. Thanks, Dave. So, are you excited for the volleyball opening? OAC match tonight? Yeah, I'm really glad they finally get to have another home game because I haven't been able to go to any yet this year, but I hopefully I can make it out tonight. When we return, find out which boy band has been breaking records. Heidelberg basketball staff here. Move-in day. A lot of excitement on campus. You're watching WHEI TV 10. Student programming from the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University. Hey, what's up? I'm Bella. Yo, what up? This is Vinny Guadagnino. I'm Nick Cannon. Hi, I'm Aziz Ansari. That was your line. You can help by joining DoSomething.org. DoSomething.org. That's why I'm teaming up with DoSomething.org. <laughs> be healthy whether they're trying to gain muscle, lose weight, or just have more energy for class. Um, everyone has different goals. We offer pre-workout, post-workout, healthy meal replacement smoothies, as well as many snacks and healthy energy drinks for everyone. I like them, they work, uh, taste good. This is the ocean. And this is Kipper. Kipper doesn't live in the ocean, but if she did, this is likely what would happen. This is Sparky. And this is habitat destruction. Boozer doesn't like it, neither does Fluffy. We wouldn't let this happen to Kipper, Sparky, Boozer, or Fluffy. In the oceans, it's worse. Lacking opposable thumbs, Kipper can't take action, but you can. Visit BeringSeaCanyons.org. Sergeant Michelle Garcia served meritoriously in Iraq and has the medals to prove it. Corpsman Richard Stokely took the skills he learned in Vietnam and put them to good use as a paramedic. But soon after leaving the military, these veterans faced homelessness. Even after Michelle lost all her savings, and even after Richard battled alcoholism for years, they both reached out for help when they needed it most. A simple phone call put them in touch with a trained professional from the VA. If you know of or are a veteran in need, make the call. Welcome back to WHEI News Center 10, live at 5. Let's get to the last story of the night. One Direction is at it again when it comes to breaking records. The band offered fans a brand new track called Fireproof as a free download for 24 hours, which has yielded impressive results. According to Billboard, One Direction's labor, label, excuse me, 
Columbia Records announced that the track scored 1.1 million downloads worldwide, making it the most downloaded song in a 24-hour period ever. Considering that Fireproof was neither the upcoming album's lead single nor previously advertised, this is something that is almost unheard of. Fireproof will be featured on One Direction's upcoming album, Four, which will be available on November 17th. So, One Direction, love them or hate them? I have a mixed feeling, but I'm kind of like that with all bands. Like, I like some of the songs, I don't like all of them, but there's very few bands that I'm like, no matter what they yeah. produce, I'm like, yeah, I'm lot, there for you. Yeah, a lot of people aren't like that. A lot of people are very, I'm for this band or I'm against this yeah. band, but... Thank you for watching WHEI News Center 10 Live at 5. Our program tonight was produced and presented by the Department of Communication and Media from inside the Media Communications Center here at Heidelberg University. Thanks for watching today's broadcast and be sure to tune in tomorrow evening for Live at 5. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Christine. And for Stacy, Dave, and all of the WHEI production crew, we thank you for watching.